there you and welcome to a Tau defense line that's about to be assaulted by the forces of chaos. Will Tau firepower be able to win the day or is corruption and pestilence going to set in? As always if you do enjoy this content do leave a like and consider subscribing as that's the best way to support the channel. Now let's get on with the slaughter. Here we go then ladies and gentlemen let the battle commence chaos forces against the Tau. Now the first thing that they're gonna have to get through is the Karut defense line. We've got a bunch of Karut warriors here who are gonna charge forward and counter charge the chaos horde hoping to buy time here for the Tau brethren to lay that firepower right down onto them and oh my look at this the renegade gunners are going to be the first up there with the marauders now we have also got plague heralds in here we've also got some of the furies as well so the tower really do have their work cut out for them today you can see them mech suits lending the firepower to that front line i absolutely love them things they just decimate hundreds of units with every little blast of that pulse cannon kind of looks like our karuk forces at the moment are getting a little bit chewed up and spat out though the marauders are excellent for the chaos here Look at that. As soon as the crew arrived, they literally just got melted away. We still do have some in the center here. Chaos trying to focus all these forces upon them. Now, they have bought time for the gunners in the background. We've already inflicted over 100,000 losses here on the Chaos troops to only 2,000 losses here for the Tau. So that's pretty good going so far. You can see that we've got another group of crew now surging forward, counter charging. Holding the line here for the Tau. Like I said, the Tau really want to use their superior guns here to try and annihilate as much of the Chaos Horde at range as possible. <laughs> they're already at 150,000 kills, so they're doing a damn good job of it. But you can see in the center now, we have got the demons here of Nurgle creeping forward as well as some of the Marauders. But yeah, these Plague Heralds, man, they can take such a beating and they'll deal a lot of damage. Of course, they could take a beating. They're demons after all. Oh, look at this. We've got a lovely little blood lake starting to appear here. Everyone, brace Timmy. He can get his rubber ducky in this one, but no rubber dinghy just yet. Chaos, though, are making a great gains little by little, trying to envelop the Tau defense here. Does look like the Karuts have actually pretty much all been killed on this side. We have maybe got a couple left on this side, trying to hold out. Again, you can see the overlapping firepower coming in from different tower lines here. We've got the gunners on the hill, lending in at fire support right into the flank of the Chaos. Maybe some of them Chaos are actually going to break away and start attacking. Looks like we've still got quite a few Karut just standing around wondering where everyone else went. <laughs> Mind you, there's still quite a few in these lines as well. That's going to be really good for the tower defenders. These guys will come running forward as Chaos gets closer to the front line. But you can see at the moment, these mech suits, they are holding back that Chaos Horde. The Chaos now, 300,000 losses. My god, that's a lot of corpses that are starting to build up. Look at the firepower just being leveled into these guys. The Marauders are taking a beating, but the Chaos Demons also, look. They're being laid out, but they are, little by little, chipping away at that Tau defense line. And obviously, that's just less and less firepower that they have. Now, we do have a, a group of Karut at the back over here. And we do have these ranged Karut over here. So these guys are actually ranged over here. They're not quite in range of the Chaos yet, but pretty soon they will be. As Chaos tries to wrap its forces around our first line of defense. Does look like it's taken quite a bit of a beating at the moment. Again, and then the Chaos Demons pumping onto that front line. And are just annihilating the poor firecast warriors here. God, them mech suits, though. <laughs> the bright pulse fire as they just annihilate hundreds and hundreds of chaos with each one of their bursts. But actually, to be honest, this line has held out really, really well, considering it's been assaulted by plague heralds at the moment. I'm actually amazed that it's held out this long. I was thinking by now that line would have collapsed. Again, we've got these little few bits of Karut that are just hanging onto the sides and they're really hampering the chaos. Because naturally, look, the chaos are trying to go for them. And that's just letting the Tau here rail onto the Chaos Horde. Who are generally just struggling to actually push this group. You can see the hammerhead tanks in the background there. They're just annihilating. Look, you can see every now and then just one of the rail guns come in 
and it kills hundreds of troops. Oh man, they create these gigantic holes in the horde. But yeah, again, these demons doing all the work for chaos at the moment. But of course, with the demons being exposed like this on the front line, it does mean that they are taking all the beating and are dying. So are Chaos going to have enough of the demons here to push through all of the Tau defences? That's the real question. I mean, the grinding out this first defence. They haven't quite managed to push the flank over there yet. How are we doing on this side? Because we did have quite a few Karoots. Looks like most of the crew made their way uh, made their way around now. We do still have these few little spatterings in between the fire warriors. And again, these are just going to be buying the valuable seconds. Look at this body pile starting to form here. Where just demons have made their way down towards the tower. And they've all died at point blank range. Amazing that the tower haven't taken more losses on that point. Actually, this group's holding the line really nicely. <laughs> The chaos really struggling now. That, again, that overlapping fields of fire coming from the tower lines. Really helping out each other. You see that the chaos struggling to push the side flank. It's a really nice defensive setup that the tower got. So much covering fire. You can see, look, we've got this group at, over here as well. Who are now also railing on that front line and also down there into the chaos horde. Our hammerheads, again, look at that. You can see them little explosions just appearing in the horde. Yeah, that's the railguns, <laughs> just killing hundreds and hundreds of chaos. Speaking of, the chaos now coming down to the final 300,000 units here. They've barely pushed past the front line of the tower. Them demons have been taking such a beating. But the tower have been holding firm. But should these lines falter, the chaos now have got a clear open path right in towards the flank. And look at this. Again, the overlapping fields of fire have been so valuable for these tower defenders. It's only allowing, really, the most powerful demons to get forward. And then them demons are being focused down by the defenders on the rear line. That is a really crazy tactic, actually. That could work out really in Tau's favour. Because a lot of this horde is just renegade gunners, marauders and furies. So there is only a very limited number of these plague heralds. Now, it does look like our front line for the Tau is finally collapsing here. These guys held out so long, much longer than I actually expected them to. Now, we haven't actually quite pushed this flank yet. But it does look like we're getting closer and closer. And I think with the firepower from the rear lines getting distracted to the center as they start pushing forward, these marauders are going to start piling onto these Tau. Now, how are we doing? Have we actually finally... Yep, yeah, there we go. We've finally defeated the center now. Chaos able to push forward. Using the buildings as cover as well. That's really good. Using that to push out towards the Tau, though. Also, using the buildings as cover is also going to limit the flow of units that they can actually get through. Oh, there we go. Look at that. They capitulated this side really quickly all of a sudden out of nowhere. And now a massive assault on the Karuk forces is beginning. They're taking a heck of a beating there. That was really, really rapid. It was like the tower holding out for ages and then just suddenly the lines just completely collapsed under them. The firepower just not there anymore. It's getting distracted to too many different parts of the line. You can see that the overlapping effect is starting again. The rear and final defense here for the Tau. Realizing that the Karuts are under attack. Lending that firepower to this front line as Marauders pour over the hill. The natural terrain here just allowing them to get right up on them Karuts. And they're just plowing through them. Oh my god. That is visceral. There is still loads of Marauders here left for the chaos. I'm not seeing quite as many demons anymore though. It must be said. Does feel like we've thinned out the demon horde significantly. Have gas fat they have, look at this, they finally managed to get up to the tower over here now. But again, that's a really good hold. The Chaos are losing so many forces trying to push these. I don't know if they're gonna be able to do this. We've got a hundred thousand chaos remaining. And they've got to push across this open field right into the tower. 
And unfortunately, they're just taking a lot of losses. Too many demons have died here for the Chaos. They needed them forces for this, the final push, though. This flanking maneuver, this could be everything here. As Chaos are struggling on other parts of the field, it does look like this is their ultimate ace under their sleeve. So as long as this attack on this side succeeds, I do think that Chaos do stand the chance. Now they are starting to focus some of the forces back round and into the towel lines. That's probably a good thing also. we just got to hope that there's enough Marauders here to push through the entire force of Karut and then possibly take on the, the Malik Karut that are waiting here. Have we got enough forces on this flank though? I don't know, man. These guys have been dissolved pretty damn quickly. There is just a large amount of Marauders though left within the Chaos Army. I do think most of the Renegade Gunners are dead. Most of the Furies are dead. And even the Plague Heralds are pretty much dead now. I think it's all down to the marauding marauders. And yeah, the, the lines are starting to get thin, guys. Oh no, we do look this. We do have some gaggles left here. Of meat fodder. I mean, at Renegade Gunners. <laughs> okay, yeah. We're starting to get onto the tower lines now. There is hope here for Chaos. Oh no. We didn't have enough troops to be able to push through all of the Karut line. That could be disastrous now. Now we've got to push back across all that open ground. Really coming down to the wire. There's tw the 30,000 of the Chaos remaining. Oh no, we're with this flank faltering it also now. I think this might be GG, guys. The centre mass is just getting absolutely railed on now. By all of the Tau guns from the flanks. And that's going to make it really hard for him to get through. Though we're going to have to see what happens with this group. There is still hope. The natural terrain offers some defense here for the Chaos Horde as they're pushing over. But they've got to do it as a big concerted blob. These guys have got to get out of the village. And again, while the village is excellent cover, it's also hindered the amount of units that they can push through. I mean, God, look at that battlefield there. Let's go have a quick dip over here. Any of these deep enough for little Timmy? Oh, no, he's not quite there, unfortunately. What about over here? Did we get deep enough here? No. Oh, I'm sorry, little Timmy. Even Brittany didn't have that many big body piles. They're just sort of mosaiced all over the floor. Okay, last 6,000 chaos here now. And I think this is it, ladies and gentlemen. I think we are going to be calling this one soon. The chaos simply just not having enough of a concerted force here to be able to push across the entire line of the Tau defense. Too many troops got bogged down, too much crossfire. Too many demons were sacrificed too quickly. And now, Operation Mop Up is pretty much being completed here by the Tau. There we go, the last 70,000, 70, the last 70, God, and them 70 have already died. Look at that, a solid Tau defense. They didn't even get to use their second line here. So we are going to be calling this one here, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, I do hope you had a blast. I know I did. Please do comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. A massive shout out to all our channel members who helped keep this channel going. And if you're not a channel member, why the heck not? Click the join button down below. And while you're at it, go ahead and check out the amazing Chaotic Pinky store. We got some really cool merch over there. With all that being said, as always, until next time, peace.